the authority deals with a large variety of dangerous objects, entities, and environments. Listed here are some of the most common hazards that authority personnel will encounter. Database entries on anomalous objects include relevant hazard classifications to inform authority personnel of the safety risks posed by individual anomalies or anomalous entities. Anomalous Properties Aggression Hazard Entity shows hostility towards staff or humans in general. Animated Hazard Anomaly shows the ability of free movement. This can only be used if the anomaly is not alive. Aquatic Hazard Anomaly affects water, tends to exist in an aquatic environment or is related to water. Ballistic hazard, object has the ability to attack or exert itself via the creation or launching of projectiles. Climatological hazard, object can affect the weather, or cause the formation of impossible or nonsensical weather systems. Ecological hazard, object is hazardous to the workings of the biosphere, whether through the destruction of an area's ecology on any scale, or through the creation of a new and anomalous biosphere. Extraterrestrial hazard, object originates from outside of Earth's atmosphere, or is currently located outside of Earth's atmosphere. Geological hazard, object can alter the topology of the Earth, or trigger sudden changes in the state and structure of the Earth. Grouped hazard, object operates within a group of similar anomalies. Incorporeal hazard, object does not exist in a physical form, or can assume a form intangible to normal matter. Mechanical hazard, an object that is a machine. This includes both electrical and traditional machines. Organic hazard, anomaly is organic in nature. Psychotronic hazard, this denotes an anomaly that has the ability to exhibit psychic properties including, but not limited to, telekinesis, p, rescience, telepathy and pyrokinesis. Regenerative hazard, object has the ability to reconstruct or repair itself when damaged, whether through mechanical, biological or other means. Sapient hazard, denotes an entity capable of high-level thinking and reasoning. Replicating hazard, the object can create other items, or more of itself. The items created may be either anomalous or non-anomalous. Sentient hazard, denotes an entity capable of feeling base-level emotions and demonstrating awareness of its surroundings. Transmutation hazard, object can change in form or change the forms of other objects. Physical hazards. Biohazard. A biological threat stemming from microorganisms and virulent entities. Contact hazard, physically touching the object can cause harmful or hazardous effects. Corrosive hazard, the object can corrode other objects, or produce, generate or control corrosive substances. Electric hazard, the object can generate or manipulate current or static electricity, or electric fields. Frequently associated with magnetic hazards. Explosive hazard, object can explode generate or manipulate explosive material, or produce concussive shocks or vibrations that can cause injury, incapacitation or death. Extreme temperature hazard, object can produce extremes of heat and cold, or exists in an environment which involves extremes of heat and cold. Magnetic hazard, object is magnetic, or can create or manipulate magnetic and electromagnetic fields, frequently associated with electrical hazards. Radiation hazard, area or object can produce or manipulate ionizing radiation which is harmful to humans, or otherwise produces radiation falling somewhere on the electromagnetic spectrum. Toxic hazard, environment or object is chemically toxic to humans, or capable of producing and manipulating substances which may be chemically toxic. Reality hazards. Destabilization hazard, object causes the destabilization of reality in some form. Extra-dimensional hazard, object originates from a higher dimensional space than our own, or has the ability to move between dimensional spaces, or can otherwise manipulate or alter the dimensions of space-time. Gravitational hazard, object is capable of altering the force of gravity or generating its own gravity to a degree not consistent with its mass. Immeasurable hazard, object's effects are impossible to quantify with current scientific knowledge. Newtonian hazard, object does not abide by standard models of physics. Temporal hazard, object alters the linear flow of time, is capable of moving through time in a non-linear fashion, or generates or alters time in some way. Teleportation hazard, object has the ability to move matter or energy from one point in space to another without traversing the space in between. Tychokinetic hazard, object can actively or passively manipulate probabilities, altering the chances of events occurring. Cognitive hazards. Auditory hazard. Sound produced by or related to the object can trigger anomalous effects. Emotional hazard, object is capable of changing a person's emotional state. 
ideological hazard, object is hazardous to a subject's preconceived notions and beliefs, or may change their notions and beliefs in a forceful manner. Info hazard, information or data related to the object may trigger anomalous effects or have a damaging effect on the human psyche. Memory alteration hazard, object is capable of altering or creating memories. Mind control hazard, object is capable of manipulating the actions of an individual, or can take full control of an individual. Mind regression hazard, denotes an object that is capable of regressing the state of sapience or sentience in an entity, or capable of causing an entity to experience permanent mental damage. Ontological hazard, object affects the victim's state of identifiable being. Sensory hazard, object has a permanent or temporary effect on the proper functioning of the subject's senses, or can cause anomalous effects through sensory contact not covered by visual or auditory hazards. Visual hazard, viewing the object can trigger anomalous effects. And that is it for this report. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you on our next report.